this is your boy Tunchi, YBTV. You already know. Um, before we dive into this, which is going to be getting ready to buy a truck. Now, before we dive into it, let me pay some bills. Go to www.ybetv.org slash shop. We got courses that will change your life. We got the business credit course that's going to show you how to set up your business, establish it, and also it's going to show you how to get business credit where you ain't got to use your social. The marketing course going to teach you how to continue to grow your business, bring employees in, uh, uh, get applications filled out, like things of that nature, and just brand the heck out yourself. We got a personal credit course where we teach you, but forget you, show those kids that course so they will be able to grow and glow, get that glow on. Moving on, we got mentorship where we will give you a custom fit plan to help you get to the next level in your trucking business. We got shirts where we will do a certain amount of shirts for you for whatever the cost going to be that's negotiated over the phone, and we'll get that done for you. We even do your logo for you. We do everything. We get the business going. Now, before we dive into getting ready to buy a truck, we're going to talk about getting ready to buy a truck. That's all we about to talk about. We about to talk about getting ready to buy a truck. Listen, when you're getting ready to buy a truck, what are some of the things that you need to do? Number one, have you focused on that credit? Yes, focused on that credit. Is that credit looking good? Is that credit cute? Okay, you got that credit together. Down payment. What's what what that down what is the down payment looking like? What do you need to take in? What's a good down payment to have? About ten grand. If you got a ten grand down payment, you should have five thousand to the side just to get you started, just in case something come up. You never know. You don't want to go out of business for two thousand dollars. You do not want to do that. You go out, you get yourself rolling, you just put ten grand down. Some come up and it's twenty three hundred dollars. You ain't got a dime to your name. Should have that before you get started. Next, so scouting the right company. I got a company scouting form. Go to ybetv.org/shop and go down the company scouting form, and you can call a company, and you, it's got all the questions you want to ask them, and it's got a little blank spot where you can put your answers at. I'm telling you, it's the bomb. TheBomb.com, it is the bomb. You dropped the bomb on me, baby. Where is my gavel? Where is my gavel? The point is, is that, yes, baby, would you pass me my gavel? It's right over there under that white judge hair. You already know. So point blank period, that's what I've been forgetting. It don't, I need the, the mallet thing, too. This is the mallet right here. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's exactly it. That's exactly it what we talking about. The point is is that people when you're getting ready to buy a truck have your credit together. Do the research on your trucks. Do all the research. Find out what you need to find out. And last but not least have, have some information on the company so you can translate it to the person that you're buying from. Hey, not the person the, you know, the company Cause if you go into ABC Truck and they're gonna say, "All right, well, what company are you gonna be signing on to? What rates?" Cause they wanna know. They wanna kind of know. Like, hey, hey, some of the places might be like, "Hey, I want to see what you're gonna be bringing in." Like, if a lot of them would like to see that you like leasing or something, or that you doing doing deals with, them so they can see what you already average and what you can already bring in, so they could kind of get a predetermined amount. Like, hey, like when I was with England. And I went to um, uh, I went to a truck leasing company, not Aero Truck Sales. It was not Lone Mountain Truck Sales. I went through them, and they got me pre-approved. They was like, "Man, uh, with your credit, that's good. With everything, look good." And they was like, "How much do you have the potential to make?" And then you know, like I showed them what I was paying on my regular truck. You know, it was on like six fifty. You know, what I'm saying a week. I was paying $650 a week, and they was like, 
well, you could have, with that, you making like two to three truck payments right there. So it's like, man, you, man, like you, you, you great with that. So that was dope, but it was like, okay, you know, um, man, like I could go through you guys, man. And they, they like, they have not a problem giving me a truck at that time. So now they didn't change a lot of stuff. They didn't got a lot bigger. They didn't change a lot of stuff. But I'm telling you, like, Lone Mountain Truck Sales back in the day, they was getting you a truck. They was getting you a straight shot at it. And the only thing they wanted to see that you got the potential to make money, that you got the credit, the potential to make money, and you good to go. And they would have gave you a shot. So, you know, it is what it is on that. That's what it is. Um, that's really it, man. That's honestly it. Like, to get yourself together, work on your credit. Have a little history on the company. Possibly show what you got the potential to make if you got a truck. Um, do your research on the truck. Do your research on the company. And that's really it, man. Honestly, and preference, knowing what you want. Like, don't have nobody talk you into getting nothing. Look at the truck. Stop people. Hey, can I look in there? Can I look? I'm looking into, hey, you see somebody in the Western Star? Be like, look, bro, uh, I was thinking about getting the Western Star. What's the fuel mileage like? This, this, and this. Do you mind if, like, can I just look through the side to kind of get a general idea? Or you ain't even got to ask that. Go on YouTube. Look on the inside of it. See it. Then if you can find somebody with the one that you looking at, ask them if you, they could give you a tour. You know what I'm saying? You a trucker. I don't, only thing they could do is say no. So that's just really it, man. That's what I do, man. Now I kind of know, like, I'm kind of a Volvo fan, but I really want to see. I don't know what I like, though. I only been really rolling with Freightliners for like that, but and I had one Volvo, so you know, it is what it is. That's the game, and it's your boy Tonchi signing off. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. Bye, B.